Hi, in this video here we're going to be looking at Let's Learn Tinkercad and we're looking at five. Use the line tool and the work plane helper. Now, there, click through. So, step one, continue to the next step. Uh, your little introduction there you can read. And then it's saying drag a cylinder in. Send that to 30 millimeters. And drag a cone in there as well. And it wants that to be 30 millimeters off the work plane. So we'll drag that up. And it's asking us to use the line tool and use center, um, center handles to align them. So we'll hold shift. I'm going to click on the cylinder. I click the line tool up here. I'm going to click on the cylinder again. And then I'm going to click that center handle there. And I'm going to click that center handle there. You can see there's a lined up now. It's asking us to add a box, so we're going to rotate that round. Okay, add my box in this corner here. And drag that to the right size. 60 by 20 by 4 millimeters thick. And it's asking us to select both the tar, select all of that there, and the wall. And it's going to click on the align tool there as well. And it's saying click on the tar. So we'll do that there. And then it's saying click next. Now it's saying click on the limit handle here. At the end of the closest parallel line to the wall. So and here, I'm going to click that there, and you see it is now um, gone right into the tar. This is what we call a tangent here. So from a curve straight into a flat face with no hard corners. You can see some examples here. So the curves uh, into straight into a flat, no hard corner. So uh, now it's asking us to copy and paste that cone there. So we'll just put the cylinder in the cone and we're going to copy that there and we'll paste that there. It's appear in a slightly different position, that's not a problem. And I'm going to click next. And we're moving up to the far end. We're just going to line that up in that space there. We are. So it's again a nice tangent there. Next. So it says raise the cone up to 40 millimeters. So we'll just drag that up to 40. There we are. And Make the cylinder 40 tall. There we are as well. Now let's just copy and paste that wall. So we'll copy, paste, move that round. We'll rotate that round the Z axis. And again, we'll just move that into position. Actually, we'll just use the line tool. So we'll just show you how to do that again. Click on the box, click on the cylinder, click on the line. Just click on that bar there again. There we are. Actually, it needs to go quite a little bit. There we are there. Next, copy and paste the wall again. We'll drag that across there. We'll just line it up. So it's lined up the center cylinder. That's that darker grid line. And we'll line these up using the line tool again. Click on that there, and we'll click on that one there. See, they're nice and nice tangent there now. But it's asking us to group the tars and the original wall. So we'll group, holding shift, we're selecting all these items here. We're going to group that there. It's gone purple for me. It might go orange or it might go red for you. And we're going to copy and paste that group. And it's gone to the right to me. Not to worry if it doesn't pop into the exact silhouette there they've set out. We're going to move that group over to here. I'm just going to line the tars up. Um, And obviously the walls are the wrong way around. So I'm saying go to the menu bar and we want to click the mirror there. And we'll do that there. That's giving us some arrow options. So we can rotate it that way there. So the big tar goes to the left. We'll flip it upside down. Or we can mirror it so the wall goes another way there. So we'll click that there. And then we click next. And we're then just going to drag that into position. There we are. So select the tars, we're going to hold shift to select those tars, and then that one there as well. And we're going to ungroup that there. We've got the individual items. We're going to select the cones, we'll hold shift to select the cones, and press delete there. And now it's asking us to use the work plane helper. So the helper menu is over here, and we're going to drag the work plane helper, which is this one here, 
I'm going to drag that onto the top there. You notice the work plane is now moved up to the top of that car. So we're going to drag out a polygon. You notice when I add that, it's going to add it onto that where that work plane is. So the work plane is on the top of the tar, so that's where we've got our um, uh, polygon. I'm going to drag that down to five mil tall. And we're just going to drag that out so it's the right size. It's pretty good to me. I'm going to add the cylinder there. And it's saying we're going to resize this by holding Shift and Alt. I'm going to hold Shift and Alt. I'm going to resize that down to 16. There we are there. And it wants me to align that with, um, to line that up so it's in the center. You can also use our align tools. Select the hexagon. And move it into place for us. There. Um, we've got it there and click next. Oops. Back there a second. We're actually going to make that a hole. Then we're going to group those two items together. You can see we've got a hole in our hex again there. Now we're going to click next. So we're going to copy that there. Copy, paste. And we're going to move that across here. Again, we can use the line tool. We can select that cylinder there. The line tool. And click that cylinder again. There we are there. And there we are there, so using the center lines there. And then the remaining two towers I want to see that on as well. But we're going to move the work plane up first. Take the work plane tool, click the top of that car there. You might need to move it around to make sure you've got a good angle view of it. And again, we go up to paste again. Now it's way down low. So we'll have to drag that up. And you see it, drag it up so that number in the white rectangle there is zero. There we are. And for some reason that's rotated, so I'm just going to rotate it around. There we are. I'm going to use the align tool here again. So I select that cylinder, click the align, and click the cylinder itself, and that way there. And there we are. So use the two center alignments there. I'm going to do that once more. I'm going to copy that there and I'm going to paste it. Oops, I had the whole tar selected there. Let's just do that again. Click the X again, copy, paste. There we are there. Put that cylinder there. I'm going to use the align tool here. I'm going to click on the cylinder, click on that center point there. I want that center point there too as well. And there we are. Starting a little bit like a good good castle there. I'm not saying we can use move the work work plane round, work plane helper round to the front of the castle. So I think I say this is the front here. So I'm going to click work plane helper. I'm going to add that on the front there. You see the work plane helper is not going vertical. So, um, and it's just an easy experiment here. So I'm going to add a box first of all. And when you move the work plane around to this angle here, it's worth bearing in mind that the height of the kind of top cone that you drag the positioning cone there, it's now kind of, it's not at the top, it's on one of the sides. So you can position it by moving that around, but you can drag in that in different ways. You can have it operating in a different way here now. Just going to put the door in there. I'm going to make that hole. Just going to make sure it's going all the way through. And that's what gets tricky, getting the right one. All the way through, and I'm going to group those there. Got a hole. Go down, I'm going to use the text tool here. I'm going to click there, go to text. Marks, cancel. And and resize that there. And make it well. Let's go for a nice blue. And then we can move that along. You see that's come straight in on that edge there. And there's Mark's castle there. 
And so that's my castle done. So I can move the work plane up a bit. If you click on that bottom face there, and that makes it a little bit easier to see what's going on again. So there's our castle. The last step here, uh, it's looking at um, 3D printing it. We're not going to be doing that at the moment, but you can always give it a go if you have a 3D printer.